happy was to write movies and have a big family. So when God called me to be a priest, I thought he was asking me to sacrifice everything I needed to build a wonderful life for myself. Now let me tell you something. If you're ever trying to run away from God's will in your life, the absolute worst thing you could ever do is go to his mother, okay? <laughs> and as I knelt there before Mary, gazing upon the crucifix, I realized that the most wonderful and luminous life that ever walked this earth was built upon the greatest sacrifice this world has ever seen. And that's when I came to understand that there is a light within all of us, a great light. And the way that light gets out is by allowing ourselves to be broken and offered for others. It's really moving, first of all, just to see how many um all of the supporters that we have. I think being on the hilltop, such a small community, we don't realize how, um, uh, I guess, the range of, of friends that we have from afar. I just hope that there's always uh, an opportunity to uh, serve the Lord in some way each day. I think just uh, seeing the way that he's working in people's lives and being um, being an instrument of, of God's mercy and and his love for the world and bringing the gospel to people who haven't heard it before. That we continue to try to grow as much and that we are able to bring in as many, as many good clergy members as possible. Uh, people who have the calling, who see the calling and want to fulfill the need, who feel the blessing and want to share that blessing with others. Father, we know that without the Eucharist, there simply is no church. Without those that you call to be priests, there is no Eucharist. But I couldn't feel more like a spiritual brother and a spiritual father to all of these fine men. But most of all, I'm just truly in awe when I have the opportunity to travel to their dioceses and see them and be part of their ordination. Growing from the disciples who came to the seminary some years before to becoming brother priests of Jesus Christ. There's a tremendous energy at Mount Angel in this time in its history. Yes, our world is a troubled place increasingly troubled it would seem. Yet God is raising up servants of his own plan to save us, to bless the world, and to bathe it in his light. We've had the opportunity to meet many of the future priests of the church, and we are so excited with what we see. Be sure to ask them what this calling to share the light of faith means to them as seminarians studying to become priests. But I warn you, be prepared. They're a witty bunch and they may turn the same question to you. Because in fact, by our baptism, we are all called to share the light of our faith.